Hello guys, I am DevOps engineer. This is the third episode of Ansible tutorial. In previous videos, we saw what is Ansible, what are the advantages of Ansible as configuration management and deployment tool. We also saw how to install Ansible on Linux server. So next will be like if you are creating a new project, then you should be aware about what is the best practice and the folder structure to be followed in Ansible. So in this video, I'll explain the standard folder structure followed in Ansible and Ansible official document itself. Let's start. Uh, Ansible suggests two types of folder structure. Out of that, first one is first one folder structure looks like this. Okay, this is the uh, screenshot of structure. I'll explain this. Uh, what is the meaning of these files and the name? Okay, if you see the first one the production and the second one staging. These means these two are the inventory files name. These are without the txt file. This is just a file with the name production and staging. Suppose you have two environments and you want to uh, deploy like Tomcat in two environments. So you have created a two separate separate inventory file. Okay. The next folder. This is a file. The next folder is group wars. Here in group wars, inside group wars, you can define a multiple YAML file and inside the YAML file uh, here, we can assign the variables which we can assign from the outside. And this variable will be same for staging and production. Okay. This is next folder is host wars. Host wars uh, is also at the same at the root level. And here also we'll define the variables which is assigned to the particular uh, server. So we define here. Next folder is library. This is optional. If you want to put any library for your deployment of Tomcat, for example, this next module is module utils. This is also optional, not mandatory. And the next option is filter plugins. All these three are optional. If you are using any custom filter plugins, you can put it there. Okay. Next is playbooks. Okay. If you have multiple playbooks, if you have master playbooks and the child playbooks, all the playbooks will go at the root folder where the uh, where you have inventory files, these two inventory files, these folders are there at the same location. You will have to paste or create your playbooks at the same location. OK, then it will automatically pick these inventories, whatever. Suppose if you have to execute in uh, production, you just mention hyphen I production and execute your playbook. It will automatically take these group bars and host bars, uh, replace those values and execute. OK, if you have only one, if you have only one host file, then you have to mention at the host and you don't have to mention the inventory file in your Ansible command. Next folder is roles. This is mandatory inside roles. You you can have multiple roles depends on your project like common roles inside any of the role like you have uh, um, boot microservice. You have Docker. You have uh, uh, Tomcat installation. You have anything whatever you have. You can mention multiple roles like common web tier these kind of roles inside roles. We have a different folder structure like tasks handlers, templates, files, wars, defaults, meta, library, module utils, lookup. Everything is optional only if since you have mentioning the roles. So you mention the task and inside the task, if you put the main dot YAML file so that that time you can easily import the roles in your playbook saying that import or using the roles tag put common. As soon as you put the common, it will execute the main dot YAML file. If there is any reference in main.yaml file for templates and handlers, it will take those and execute it. So you don't have to worry about this. So this is the first type of folder structure. Let's take the sample example also, which I have downloaded from internet. Let's take a look at the sample example of this kind of folder structure also. Okay. You can see I have cloned Tomcat standalone. Uh, here, if you see, uh, we have stage production and host. Okay. And this one is playbook. So as I mentioned, uh, where the location where you have inventory file at the same location, you have a playbook file 
and in the wherever you have a inventory file at the same location you have the group vars and if you have anything specific to the host you can create the host var folder here itself host underscore vars host vars and inside the host vars you can create host specific file okay let's open this okay you can see this is the sample playbook okay these are the normal thing roles if you see how do we execute the roles if you do not create a roles folder here and inside if you do not create these roles you can mention any roles name okay so it will execute those roles inside this task is there inside this main.yaml file there okay in if in apart from task if you create any handler if you create any templates if you create any vars it will take those files also and it will execute automatically so for execution of roles you just have to type roles and se linux or tomcat first it will execute the se linux next it will execute the tomcat we will go in detail in the playbook section video uh, right now we are discussing the folders okay so this is about the roles folder okay similarly in group vars you can mention the tomcat uh, any file name with all the variables like you can see http port https port username password you can mention it here since these keeps on changing so you don't want to change your code so you can mention these variables in a group vars in group vars okay uh, next is host file host you can see tomcat servers web server one if you have a multiple uh, environment you can mention production server wherever you want to execute then state server you wherever you want to execute with the same variables you can see so here if you see the example we have group vars host vars roles host is the inventory file production is inventory file again if you see the production it is not text file it is just a production okay playbook is yaml file stage is again the inventory file so this is how the first type of folder structure looks if you have to execute this playbook how you will trigger the command ansible hyphen playbook okay hyphen i you can mention inventory name if you want to execute in a stage just mention stage okay playbook name site dot yaml file so now this will execute your tomcat installation in a stage environment whatever server you mention with all the variables it is taking from the group vars it will execute against these two servers stage server okay similarly if you want to execute against production you just have to change inventory file and execute it okay so you don't have to keep any reference that how i have defined roles here then how to make sure that it is picking the roles i have defined the group vars here so you don't have to mention that please take my group vars it will automatically take and it is the best practice suggested by the ansible official document itself that if we follow this then it will be easy to execute the playbook uh, next type of folder structure is you can put all the inventory file group vars and host in a separate directory this is particularly useful if you have the group vars and host vars not much in common it varies as per the environment you might be seeing in my screen that we have created one inventories folder inside that instead of directly creating the production file we have created another folder called production inside production folder we have created an inventory called host okay host then wherever the inventory file is there at the same location we have created one more folder group vars okay so whatever group vars will mention here those will be applicable for this host similarly we have created another folder host vars so whatever host specific variable is present here those will be applicable to this host inventory file okay if you since we are talking about the multiple inventories and multiple environments and those are not having the same variables so we have created another folder staging similarly inside inventories staging folder then host file at the same location of host file we have created group vars and here we have mentioned all the groups similarly host vars is a folder we have mentioned all the host vars yaml file okay
these three again these three are optional if you are using libraries module utils filter plugins this is okay next is playbook playbook will be always sitting at the root okay root wherever you have created the inventories folder at the same location your roles will be sitting roles folder inside roles roles folder there is no change uh, whatever we used in the first type same kind will be here like common web tear monitoring foot app what you can mention everything anything what you want inside common there will be tasks template wars inside task there should be one main.yaml file and that main.yaml file will control all the properties inside the that particular role okay so this is about the second type of uh, folder structure let's take a look at the uh, example uh, i have downloaded this um, uh, jboss standalone if you see the folder structure how it looks like here we have playbook demo deploy application site.yaml file okay this host file is not needed here if you see inside inventories i have created production inside production we have group wars host wars and production okay similarly inside inventories we have a stage inside stage we have a stage inventory file this is again this is not a text file this is just a file so inside group wars we will have the group wars file okay so how do we execute uh, these things again in this kind of situations uh, command will not change much roles will be automatically taken care by the playbooks inventories will automatically take care of those group wars uh, for second type of uh, uh, folder structure the command will be for executing your playbook playbook hyphen i now you have to tell where is your inventory file so in when trees slash production slash uh, if it is a host file or whatever name you have given you can just mention it slash site dot yaml file so this is how we are going to execute the playbook in your second scenario ansible playbook you have to give the inventory where your inventory is sitting and just give the playbook name since playbook is having the reference to the role it will automatically take those role and execute and whatever the in group wars is needed for this inventory uh, group wars folder is already present in this location so it will automatically take those variables and execute so these two are the <clears throat> best practice or standard folder structure suggested by the ansible itself but if you don't want to follow this you can keep any folder structure anything but only thing that roles should be present role should be present at the root folder playbook should be present at the root folder if you are keeping your keeping your inventories file in like slash etc slash host then you have to mention where is your host file okay inside host file if you want to use some group wars then inside host file you have to mention the reference of your group files group wars as a children and it will work so it is like instead of using the ansible default reference you have to mention the reference in each and every file so that your playbook works fine if you don't want to follow the standard folder structure okay i'll mention the link in the description for these uh, examples uh, and also uh, the official document of uh, ansible folder structure with commands thank you guys